What's up, guys? <clears throat> Lethal here. Back again. First of all, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. And we're in October. We're going to try a new game. <laughs> uh, because it's October, I wanted to do something a little spooky. Um, and I ran across this game in a Humble Bundle. Uh, it is also available on Steam. This is called Forgive Me Father. And this is based on HP Lovecraft universe stuff. So extra spooky, in my opinion. Uh, you can't get much scarier than like absolutely mind-bending insanity from the unknown, right? Like, <laughs> it's. I love I love uh, Lovecraft stories. Um, just that idea of it. So, we're gonna give this a shot. I have never touched this game before in my life. So this is going to be a learning experience for me, and you'll get to witness that. So hopefully that's enjoyable. So let's get in with a new game here. The priest is hellbent on vanquishing evil. His abilities were bored. Set up and focus on a slower, more defensive playstyle. Or the journalist... Journalist is a professional seeking the truth. Her abilities have shorter cast times and focus on a faster, more aggressive playstyle. Hmm. Let's go with the journalist, I think. We'll do normal difficulty. Madness effect. Always show. Default. Don't show. Let's do default. He asked for your help. He asked for your arrival. Chaotic contents of the letter. Missing people, panic, strange voices. Cousin Lewis' request for help could not remain unanswered. You set off for your hometown without hesitation. to the town of Pestisville. You got there soon enough. You noticed that the locals were quick to leave this place. Mm. You felt observed. You're being watched? I like this art style. This is where you were supposed to meet your cousin. However, the room was empty. What? While searching for information on your cousin's whereabouts, you heard a strange sound of footsteps in the corridor. No, 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 no. After a while, there was a knock on the door. Knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> it's funny. Ew. I have to go answer the door? Well, it looks like I have a knife. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. I, I like this. I like this. Ooh. Got a gun. Shoot by pressing the last left mouse button. You can switch between your weapons, your scroll wheel, or number keys. Oh, I got it. Dubious aim. cases need firm methods. Lewis Martin. Antiquary. Antiquary. <laughs> Maroon Street. I don't need to read the address. You can read it. Uh, oh, that's funny. Dormants? Who are they? I don't 
What's up with her voice? Fallen aces? That's too many aces for a deck. There's somebody's cheating. Dear Mr. Martin, circumstances force me to undertake decisive steps. Fortunately, as a result, old Murphy started to talk. We need another con consultation from your side to understand something about his jabber. Please come to the hospital as soon as you can. I've notified the sheriff as well, Dr. Sullivan. Lewis, uncle, in case of my absence, you know where to find me. Is that where your uncle went? <clears throat> Awakening doors come back new day. What is all this stuff? Stone obelisk, handwritten note. No, no, no. Dear Lewis, I've searched for information regarding the symbol that is the subject of your interest. You have to visit me in Providence and look through all the materials I gathered for you that, that caused a considerable stir among my colleagues. I can reveal to you already that we are talking about a magic rune older than any known civilization. <clears throat> Professor I. Jones, Archaeology Institute of Providence. In Providence. P.S. I hope you, Anne, and the children are enjoying good health. Well, yeah, it's older than any civilization. So we're talking uh, the ancient ones now, aren't we? What is this? Whoa! Mmm. Too many bullets. Madness bar, which is filled up by killing enemies and drinking alcohol in the game. The higher the madness, the more damage you deal, and the less damage you receive from enemies. That doesn't make sense. Did I read that wrong? The higher the madness, the more damage you deal. You want to go insane? Okay. I mean, normally that means that... Or I should say, in any other game I've encountered, your madness means you take more damage, not deal more damage. So... This is a little different. I don't think there's anything else I can look at. Maybe I'm just supposed to keep going. Who the hell were they? They didn't look like normal thugs. You're right. Oh lord. This is making me a little nervous. I need a key. A red key. Tales of the Deep Volume 1. Legends making a sea. Dogs blood boil. Fire and water. Mermaid hunter. Gone with the wave. The lord of the sea. Okay. That's a great story, but it's not my thing. I don't know how I feel about this lady's voice. Sounds a little... Condescending. You're hiring fishermen to work on boats sailing at the Gulf of Maine in the spring-summer season. Four dollars for each cruise. Foreigners are guaranteed accommodation. Recruitment till March 17th. Festival dock. Hey, okay. Ammo. Whoa. Too close. Too close. I didn't get the direct headshot that time. Ugh. All the noises? Ugh. Oh, 
Oh, I think that's a health, but I don't need it, so... The gore mechanics are nice. Just... I took two headshots. You saw that, right? <laughs> what? Mayor Mahoney, Reverend Wildshire, and the 15 other citizens turned up missing during the last few weeks in the Halflings County. The sheriff's office still has appointed out any suspects in this case, whilst other people are becoming victims of the mysterious assailant. The citizens suspect that the beast of Pesteville settled in the surrounding forest and hunts for people and cattle. It looks like a three-headed dragon or sea lion. Testimonies of potential witnesses differ significantly. Who's going to unravel the mystery? That's gonna be us, I bet. Got the keys. Now we just gotta go back and unlock the door. This um, wobbly style is kind of cool, too. It makes it a little more real. <laughs> and uh, unnerving a bit because you feel panicked. You're moving. Like, there's no run. I'm just walking. And it's this red rum. It'd be better if they had a mirror over here. Red rum is murder. Got that, got that. What's over here? More zombies? saw that they were holding a head and then put the head on themselves after I busted the head up that is actually pretty cool <sighs> whoa ah no 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 yikes I need more healths. They tricked me. <sighs> oh. This is another way to get over here. I get it. that shotgun after what I saw here I'll need a little backup backup like who do these doors go outside at all <laughs> 16 <sighs> shots left
Watch your back, kid. Ah! Oh, I did it twice. <laughs> oh well. Oh my god. There's no getting outside, is there? This is gonna freak me out. Northern Hunters, 1921. Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> They're digging on some lore, man. None of these doors go outside. Let me go around this way. It looked like I missed it. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I got stuck on something. What? Where do you come from? <sighs> this game is so creepy. I swear to god. Where'd the other one go? I think he sniffed something out. Yeah, this looks like a trick.
You just picked up a flashlight. This is the first free skill. Uh, okay. Press and hold down the right mouse button. Shit. Light or gun. That's all you get. I don't like that. I don't like it! Listen, there's no way out of this house. There's just... We're just gonna live here the rest of our lives. Stuck on. Oh lord. I'm out of ammo. Oh god, and I'm almost dead. Okay. A little better. A little better. I didn't kill everybody? Seventy-two percent complete. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> it feels like I finished that completely. Honestly. Is this more the same house? Please, manners. What's waiting for me outside? Well, if you could get outside, you would know. The but best way to reach the hospital is by the docks. This girl's voice, I swear to God. Edward Bradley. Okay. Gathered dressed in ritual vestments. Just set up an hourglass shape measuring time to the Grand Awakening. The altar should be placed in the very center before sacrificing a bullock in its prime of fertility, he has to be subjected to acts of tempering his masculinity, forced to submit to primeval forces, acts of tempering feature, ripping out the horns, physical subjection, 
castration, species subjection, condemning mental subjection, preparing sacrifice. What the hell? <clears throat> that fish. No. <clears throat> ah! Son of a... Poorly timed. I was waiting for them to get bunched up like that. <gasps> Are we outside? Holy shit, it's possible. Hold on, I gotta level up. What does that mean? One point. Okay. Okay, okay. Better flashlight. More experience from killing. <clears throat> Ammo pouch. Shooting speed is higher. Oh, I don't know. Let's do it. Get more XP and that will get, um, more levels faster. What? Oh my god! What the f- <laughs> What just happened? <laughs> like a barrel grew tentacles and then blew me up that's what that looked like oh let me know if you saw that <laughs> sir please manners um, what's waiting for me outside I don't want to go too too long on this the best way to reach the hospital is by the docks I don't know how long of a game it is <clears throat> but I um you know kind of want to save some for the rest of the month so we got some some more spookiness to go I kind of like this I think I may keep playing this there we'll just do our things again we we're just at the checkpoint um, yeah, I think I'm going to keep playing this game because this is. There, that should take care of it, right? Are we supposed to blow up the barrels? Is that why it was counting it at the end of that last level? All citizens are not allowed to leave their households after nightfall. Any concerning situation should be immediately reported to the sheriff's office under penalty of law. Acting Mayor of Pesteville, Connor Walsh. Well, guess what? There's madness happening in my house. And I don't even live here. I'm just visiting. I wonder what's hiding in that mysterious fog. That's what I get for being a journalist. I don't actually want to know. Aww. was the worst aim. The doctor? 
Of course the doctor would be here. I can't see shit. Uh, uh. Ah! Ooh, her portrait's all beat up. Look at that. What was that? Ooh, ooh. I need more health. I feel like she's gonna die pretty soon. <laughs> well, it used to be like a cop or something? Don't go back to the checkpoint. I don't want to die. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <sighs> oh, they're turning into octopus people. <laughs> Alright, let's do one more time. Let's try to get through this level. And then we'll end it. Sir, please! Manners! Just in case it doesn't count it again, I'm, that's why I keep reading these again. The best way to reach the hospital is by the docks. <laughs> What's waiting for me outside? <laughs> That's when I get reckless, because I'm like, I want to get through this quickly. And that's probably a bad idea. What's the health? Oh, I'm almost dead. For real. I wonder what's hiding in that mysterious fog. end up killing all the people in this town. Thirty-six hit points. Can I do it? Four hit points. Good God. This is not looking good. Uh, All right, we're going to end it there. <laughs> I can only edit so much. <laughs> <clears throat> we will come back though, and we're gonna finish this level. <laughs> Hopefully, like next time, sometime uh, next week. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this. I, I it was fun. I love this art. Um, this is an interesting story. Uh, I mean, I can, voice acting is not great. I'll I'll admit that, but. Uh, it's bearable, but the game gameplay is nice. 
I like the first person shooter. This is very um, stylized art and uh, yeah, I think this is going to be cool. So, and it's real bloody. <laughs> uh, yeah, so come back next time. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey. You can find me on Instagram and on Twitter at Lethal N. Uh, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you know when I upload the next video. And I'll see you next time, okay? Bye!